So today we're back to Yukon Valley for our grizzly bear hunt, and we're still either looking for a melanistic male or a diamond, because we have the albino that we shot a couple of weeks ago, and I still want to do that grizzly bear multi-mount. I think that would look so cool in the lodge. I've actually got a spot that I'm just, like, saving uh, till we get this multi-mount done, but we're actually starting with a spot that we didn't do in the last video or on the Twitch live stream. but this lake right here, I found a mythical bear while I was kind of just running around checking other areas off stream and like off video or whatever. And I believe this is a bear we spooked on YouTube like months ago. We chased it for a long time. It was a max weight estimate track and finally saw that it was a mythical and didn't shoot it. So I want to get that for respawns and then we'll kind of go to the main areas that we have set up. There's actually like a bunch of bears over here. I didn't realize there was a lot to drink here. I thought maybe it's like a mythical and a female because there's a female across uh, right there. But... I certainly don't see any level 8s, so I guess we'll try to get this 5, and then maybe we can spot the Mythical Fleeing, because I really do think he drinks here, I just don't know where he is. I could be wrong, I never got his drink zone, but at least I thought, like when I saw him fleeing from here, that this is where he actually drank, but I certainly don't see any... Uh, mythical bears or anything interesting fleeing from here. But certainly I gotta bring a tent up and set it up like back there somewhere and get a tripod because if there are that many bears drinking here definitely a spot I gotta come back to. Oh, there he is. Okay. So he is drinking down at this end of the lake. I'm glad that he just wasn't completely gone because I mean like I said I saw him months ago on YouTube. And I didn't want to just come back again and not get him. So. Did that even hit him? Okay, yeah. The way he acted, it looked like that shot like in front of him or whatever. And he just normally spooked. But he's going down. So we'll get our five over here. We'll go and get that mythical. And then like I said, I'm going to have to come back here and set up some equipment. Because it's a bit of a tough spot to get to. Like, there's no spawn locations very near it. But clearly it's going to be worth it if we have, I think, three different bear drink zones here and a lot of bears that use them. But yeah, there's our five, which was a decent hard shot. And our mythical will have to do a little bit of tracking. Oh, actually, there's only two grizzly bear drink zones here because I guess somehow the female and like the four or five that we shot over where the level five was, they all drank in the same place. But either way... It was not a lake I realized had this many bears, so still definitely going to be putting a setup here. And the highest scoring bear we've shot so far uh, in our little grizzly bear grind is actually a small mythical. He's not super far into like the weight range for level 8, but definitely the best we've had. And I think we're actually going to start down on this end because on Friday's Twitch stream, we had a level 3 harlequin duck spook from I think this zone. And it's only until 7.30, so we'll see if there's any bears down here and maybe if we can get that potential diamond duck as well. Oh, no way. That's a melanistic grizzly bear. It's another female. Oh my... We shot two albino females in the first hunt we did for this, like while we were setting it up. I had a melanistic female in multiplayer. And now we're going to have another rare female grizzly bear. Which might be running right at us, actually. Or maybe I spooked it again. I sat here a minute, and I realized uh, Friday's Twitch stream was a moose hunt. So, likely that level 3 duck actually wasn't in this zone. Because the zone was supposed to start at 5.30, so I was going to wait a minute. But now that I think of it, that might not be the right zone. So, I don't know if that was this bear that just spooked or what I just heard. It may be coming back. And I guess it's still cool, like it's another rare grizzly, but... Again, just not quite what we need for that multi-mount. Okay, she is right there fleeing. I don't really care too much about my shot, if I can get the scope and everything. I just need to get her dead, because the one that we heard fleeing was most certainly not her. We actually apparently made a decent shot, because she died pretty quick. But, um, yeah. She was just going straight away from the zone, trotting the entire time, so I had to, like, run after her up here. I'm just glad we found her as quickly as we did and didn't waste, like, a ton of time on her, because I did want to get her. Like, it's still cool, but 
The main thing was I didn't want to like pick up a random melanistic disturbed veg and have no tracks around and spend forever trying to get it, only to find out it's the same female. So good to get her, and I really don't know how we made as good a shot as we did, but I'll take that. It was actually a vital shot somehow? And I mean she's dead right here. So yeah, three uh three rare females so far from this grind. Can't complain about it, but still a little bit unfortunate. I wish she died like a little bit differently because this could almost be a really cool screenshot. It's actually not too bad. She does need to get one that is a male for a screenshot like that and it'd be perfect, but just barely got into the the front of the right lung there. I knew we were close, but I actually thought we were off by a little bit. So, like I said, not what we're after, but it's still pretty neat. And the one thing is, uh, if those Harlequin Duck actually use that zone, maybe they'll be there now, because I did get there a little bit early, so we'll check it again, and I still want to go up through the rest of this area. Oh yeah, he is actually out there, so I guess we were a little bit early. That's not actually 300 meters, is it 170 like that's saying? Because that would be very doable, it apparently is. So let's see if we can find him again. Actually shot a little bit over him. I tried to aim high because I thought we'd need to, but now that he's sitting still. Nice. Alright, so unfortunately we're losing a little bit of grizzly hunting time waiting for him to float over, but... Hopefully he makes diamond and it's worth it. I didn't even realize the other one stayed. I should have shot this uh, heavy estimate two as well, just because they have a chance of being diamond, but I don't want to wait any longer. And I might actually go around this left side. I started doing that just so I could see to this drink zone better, or this feed zone rather, but I think I'm just going to do that because it's the side that we didn't do as much in the first video, but our level three is actually one of my best diamonds, 7.31. I might have a 7.4 somewhere, I'm not sure, but yeah. Actually shot him in a pretty cool pose for a little screenshot. We'll get that in the lodge. And I think, I don't even know if I mounted the melanistic female, I think I did, but that should be two trophy lodge kills already. I'm not really sure going up this left side was a good idea. There's really not much. I thought that we spooked a couple of bears going down this way in that initial setup video, but I have seen nothing up until this, and obviously it's nothing special at all. And I probably should have waited for a heart shot, but looks like she's going down pretty quick with the lungs. Well, it was actually only a single lung, and she went down pretty quickly, but that actually works out not too badly because their drink time ends in like less than two minutes, so we'll get up to the marker here and then we're gonna have to reset the time anyway. All right, well, I don't know where he was, and that's going to be a real tough shot. But, wouldn't mind getting a second one in him. Did not hit the third one, he turned the other way. I was hoping he would just, like, run into that shot. Actually, he's still in view. Probably just going to be able to go right to him. Shouldn't have to even track. All right. But yeah, uh... I think we might be able to grab a drink zone if we run along here, because he must have been somewhere up this edge. I don't know where he was actually drinking at. Maybe I spooked him from way further away. But another male for a respawn anyway. And actually that first shot was close to being good enough. A little further forward that would have got a, a lung or the liver and got us the full score, but... Yeah, it's past 7, so I think we'll reset the time. I do want to check this little area here, and this lake, uh, I think I only had females from the tracks I saw, but I still want to check, but we'll probably just go here and rest back to, like, 4.30. Alright, so there actually is bear drink zones along this chunk. I thought this may have been where I shot the albino, but I think it was actually down that one uh, south of us, so this should be a new one. And I just know he's going to try to drink right when I shoot, so I'm going to let him lift his head again so we can hopefully get that hard shot in and not have to track him. That was effective. So again, we're not really getting anything special out of these smaller uh, or lower level males, but just kind of open for a respawn of a melanistic, to be honest. But I do want to go check this lake, because I know 
I'm not even sure if I checked it in the video, or maybe I did, but it wasn't actually a part of the video. I'm pretty sure I only had female tracks, but there could have been a male up here somewhere, and I want to actually check during their drink time, because I went up, like, right at the end, if I remember correctly. There is actually a male up here, so I don't know if I'll even be able to get a shot in there, because it's a really weird spot to actually see, but maybe with the light off. I thought we'd lose the spotting. I think we hit a tree, which, to be fair, <laughs> is kind of going to happen when you can't see what you're shooting at and shoot at an outline, but uh, we did get him, and at least we know there's potential for respawns up here as well. We actually must have got some kind of weird double lung there or something, because it's a high bleed rate. I guess it was more broadside than I thought. Well, anyway. Like I said, more potential respawns. And I think we'll go up this side then, just since we didn't do that in this video yet. All right, I didn't see that in time. I don't know where it was, but I do want to get it. He's dying, so maybe that'll work. And honestly, it's going to be a bit of a pain to get around and go claim him, because we can't cross anywhere here, but he must have been like in here somewhere, just hidden. So we'll definitely have to go and track him, but he died, so... Again, respawns from the low-level males is better than just shooting females the whole video. There's actually something a little better. I'm not sure. I know we went down this way on the last video. It's like down this little strip here, which, funny enough, this is where I shot the Melanistic. I didn't know that I was right there or I ran down that side from there, but... Yeah, I don't think that we had this guy. I think that's probably a respawn. But that should be a decent enough long hit. And we're just going to go down to the end here, because there is one more grizzly drink zone that's probably out of our render right now. All right, hi. Uh, that female's just going to run right through here, apparently. No touch. I actually thought we hard shot it the first time, because it seemed like it was going to stop. Uh, clearly, that's not what happened. But, anyway, just got around here to claim the level 7, and we were almost to it. He's, like, right there somewhere. But, I guess we're just taking this one for the road. Oh, he hit it in the jaw. A little lower, and that would have been perfect. You can see the heart just, like, right below there. And our 7's down right here, but I was actually looking at the map. What we can do is fast travel to this tent. Right there is where we shot the first albino grizzly in that video uh, last time, and... That can be a spot where we can just, like, potentially get one or two more bears and then go and claim that, I think it was a level 5 that we shot a little while ago, so I think that's how we're going to do this. I mean, there's a halfway decent moose up there, so I guess at this point, why not? Especially when he lifts his head, just perfect timing for me to get the gun up. So I guess we'll go and get that. I actually don't see any bears down here, which... My tent might be a little bit too close, so they may have, like, not spawned or whatever. I showed that a bunch of times in videos and streams. Like, if your tent's too close to where the animals are, they're just not visible until you get further away. So that could have been the issue, but all the ones down there were females. But I know there was a male that we shot somewhere up around this end. And I thought maybe he would have respawned, but I don't see anything. So I guess we'll go and get the uh, level 5 we shot. We'll go back for that moose, and then probably we're going to wrap this up. That actually did not work out too badly. He was pretty much right up here where I had to go anyway. That is a tiny caribou track, but I'm hoping the moose doesn't despawn. Sometimes, like, when you get too far away from the animal and then you fast travel back, uh, they can basically glitch out, so we'll see if he's actually there. I hear a bear this time. Don't know if that's going to be a male. No. Another one. Also a female. Another female. Ooh. That worked pretty good. But, uh, yeah, I would say the whole thing I was talking about with them not spawning, I bet that was the case because once you get far away and fast travel back, then they're going to be there. I don't know why that happens. Actually, did not hit this one good at all, even with two shots. Eh, we'll just pretend that one didn't happen. But, um... Yeah, if you go, like, 
200 meters or whatever and then fast travel back, they will actually be there. So I'm guessing that's what just happened. And our moose is actually still there, so not going to have any kind of weird glitches. But I think we killed right about 12 grizzlies and mostly males this time. So definitely an improvement over that first hunt. And we do actually have at least the duck to set up in our trophy lodge. I don't know if I'm going to put the melanistic bear anywhere. I guess we have our little grizzly bear collection that we've been getting like as we've been going along uh, doing this grind. So why not just put it up beside them? I don't really intend on leaving these here, but I have the space for the moment. So why not actually do that? And we have a goose there. I don't have a platform for the duck. I think there's one down in this hallway too, though. Yeah, hey, actually, there's two along this, so we'll just put him right here by the window. Like I said, actually one of my better Harlequin Ducks, 7.31. I don't know if he's my biggest, but a decent one anyway. Maybe actually do it kind of like this, because that's similar to how we shot him on the water, so I think we'll leave it just like that. So yeah, not the exact success we're looking for in the grizzly bear hunt, but definitely a successful hunt getting a melanistic female and a little diamond duck. Uh, to go along with it. So that's going to do it for this video. So thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.